and welcome to another episode of Kentucky Brew Review. I'm your host, Steel Reserve, Special K, and Radar. And today we've got Jumping Cow Amber Ale, which is 5.4% alcohol and brewed by the River Trent Brewing Company. And it's, it's, it's very, it's very, it's got a very generic cap on it. Do you think it'll be pasteurized since it's Jumping Cow? Yeah, it's a milk joke. I'm assuming it's a, with jumping cow. I'm assuming like it'd be like a milk stout or something. It's very dark. It's got an interesting surge on it too. Mm, not much of a surge. Um, what copper? It's got a pretty good surge on it. Yeah, I'm copper, go copper for sure. And sort of a off-white khaki head. Very roasty and malty smelling. Yeah, it looks roasty and malty. Mm-hmm. For sure. It smells kind of delicious, I'm not going to lie. Ooh. It's very roasty. Oh, yes. It smells really good, though. It does. I like it. it. Does. Let's do it. I don't know. I kind of just want to continue smelling it. It's very roasty. Yeah. Mmm. It's pretty good. I can't... Whoa, we had a weird finish there. Yeah, know. there's a bit of a strange aftertaste there. It's pretty, um, hearty. Yeah. It's yeah. like a meaty... Hearty Hearty is a wonderful word for this. Uh, I'm gonna go medium out though. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It was not easy, even with big gulps. Oh goodness, it's good. Um, you get this is a manly beer. <laughs> I feel as though if you didn't have facial hair, you just it would a beer. It would just start going. Yeah, it's not working though. Well, that's because you're not having a full beer. Ah, that's true. In small doses, it doesn't work as well. Holy cow! I'm getting scruffly! Oh, wait, no, I was scruffly before oh. I started here. So it starts out, um, like, there's almost, I'm gonna say there's almost nothing there, but then it goes really fast to, like, a nice roasty, a roasty, uh, malty taste. Mm -hmm. And then there's a little bit of a really nice bitterness there. And it finishes up with like another, uh, again, like malty. The bitterness is not very intense. I thought it would probably be a little bit more. Well, in the Amber Ale, they typically, I mean, there's most of the time it's light or non existent. Mm. I think it's got a pretty nice bitterness, not overpowering, because if, if they're going to make a malty beer, you know, it's they want to focus on it being the maltiness. maltiness and less. Yeah. But the hop's not nice because it cuts through some of that oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. maltiness. And it's, it's like a foil to the maltiness. I like it, it's fine with me. And like I said, it's pretty. It's pretty hearty for what it is. Like we've had other amber mm. ales, and I feel like this one's just been probably. Kinda... Eh. Yeah, they're there, and they're kind of watery. This is <laughs> nowhere near watery. Whereas this is like uh, uh, this is going towards syrup. I mean, <laughs> maybe maybe guys are forgetting Prairie Stone amber ale. Uh, ten pity. It ain't the same. Ten pity. Ten pity. Ten pity. Motor oil. This ain't old motor oil. Uh, what, was uh, what was that other beer that looked like the head of it was German rye bread? Oh, that was, oh, that was, that the, was, that was the inexplicably that was impossible to say name. No, it was uh, 1050. 1050 had the German rye. No, it was, it was the, it's the bottles over there. Check out the video. It's I impossible to say. Anyway, yeah, guys, getting off track. Ready, you finish yours first. Um, I will go ahead and give this a, uh, a manly 7. Do you recommend it? 7.5. Would I recommend it? Only if you're a man and like manly things. <laughs> yes, I recommend it. Uh, I'm gonna give this a seven. It's pretty good. Um, you know, it's mild enough to where um, it's drinkable. You know, and it's got enough flavor there to make it stand out and be desirable. Oh yeah. And like I said, finish is nice. Um, and like I said, even though it's a pretty, I say medium mouthfeel on it, it's still pretty drinkable. Uh, so I'd also recommend this if you can find it. This was, I've never ever seen this ever. We just happened to grab it. I've never seen it either. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give it a six and a half. So I'm gonna give it a six point five. Yes, six point five. Does six and a half not work? I'm gonna give this. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> no, I'm gonna give it a six and a half. A six point five. Anyways, uh, I would suggest this even if you're not a man. But you want to drink something that's hearty. It's yeah, it's good. But I, I also suggest this if you were a man and you want to feel manly. Do it. And do mad things like And do mad things like a tree. Yes. Get a get a saw and and build a house. 
Chop With only the saw. Chop some wood, grow some, grow beard. Grow beard. Make some beef jerky. Eat that beef jerky. And then grow, eat grow some steaks. All right, well, that's been <laughs> jerky, those steaks. <laughs> that sounds like a real waste of steak, actually. You're a waste of steak. Well, yes. Um, <laughs> All right, but well, that's our episode. Um, I don't want to be a Shut steak. up. <laughs> there's, right something like to, there's something you'd like to see on our channel. You can leave a comment down below. I'm a special guy. I'm still reserved. I'm radar. A waste of steak. <laughs> <laughs>